Let's break some concrete. Everybody likes doing that, right? Oh, wait, no, that's like the worst thing. Nobody in the world likes breaking concrete. Let's learn something from concrete. to be learning about lightweight concrete today and what we're going to learn by breaking this test piece in front of me is the strength to weight ratio of a perlite to cement lightweight concrete mix. Uh, the ratio four to one that's what we're working with. Uh, I'm interested in this one. This should be one of the lighter ones that I'm testing here. Um, the control group that we're working with is a full strength full weight mortar and it had a strength to weight ratio of 3.61. The piece was 26 pounds, so it was pretty heavy, uh, and it was able to hold 94 pounds before it broke. And just to verify the parameters here, we're working with a 28 inch span here. The test piece is one inch thick. There is no reinforcement in, it in terms of steel or anything like that. Just perlite, just cement, a dry mix constitution, uh, such that it's, you know, it wasn't able to consolidate fully like a liquid, uh, a more liquid mix would, but at the same time, the lower water concentration might achieve a stronger overall result due to, uh, concrete often being overwatered. Um, I think something more along the lines of damp sand would be optimally hydrated for a concrete mix. So this liquidy soup that you see in your wheelbarrow probably overhydrated. This one was a pretty dry mix as you can see. Like actually let me just show you what we got here. Pretty good consolidation all around. This is fully cured. It's well over a month old now. Get those under there. Actually let's weigh it up. Another one that won't stand on its own. Nine pounds. I'm going to weigh it again there. Let's see if this edge is flat enough. No, the edges aren't quite flat enough to stand. But I'm sure this measurement is... I mean, it's right on nine. It's not, not even bouncing around. So I'm pretty confident that we've got a nine pound test block here. <laughs> So it is one of the lighter ones, and as a result, I expect it to bear less weight before it breaks. I expect this one to break fairly readily, but we'll see. Got a center mark here that I can kind of evenly distribute this weight. Any little high spot there. Let's see if we can't get that to settle in a little nicer. I don't want it to rock around. There we go. Okay, I'm happy with that. Let's get started. So at nine pounds, I mean, it doesn't have to take much weight for it to have a high strength to weight ratio, but it seems so weak. I'll be careful when I place these so as to try to not shock it. That way we can get somewhat of an accurate measurement here, but I don't expect this to hold much weight at all. So far so good. Surely any time now it's gonna let go. It's only nine pounds. How is it taking this much weight?
totally wasn't startled. Okay, I drink like six cups of very strong coffee a day. Maybe you can tell. I don't know. That was kind of ridiculous. Whew. Okay, so how much weight did it take? Way the heck more than I thought it was going to. Um, you know, about here or so. So I'm going to call that 25 pounds. Hmm. I guess... Well, let's see. I mean, no point, no point talking about it. Let's just weigh it up and find out. I mean, it feels pretty heavy. Twenty nine point two five. I've been rounding up on the fives just to be, I want to keep it the same. I've done it before, so I'm going to keep doing it. So I'm actually really impressed by that. Three point two six. Again, right in that same same grouping. That's very interesting. That one broke uh, an inch and three quarters off center. Easily could have been my weight distribution in the bucket. Interesting. I, I don't know. I thought I would have held more. Well, I mean, you have to do a lot of this before you can really compile the information in a meaningful way. So this is just another drop in the bucket in this uh, pursuit of learning more about lightweight concrete, what it can do, what it can't do, testing the limitations. I hope you find this interesting.